Thank you. Can you just like jump up and down for us? <laughs> <laughs> So while we were talking, I wanted to sit down to my cookie store. So this lovely lady asked me to pray for me, sat down, started praying, and the pain got worse. It moved to another area, and then she called a friend along, so started praying more and more. And um, yeah, after about what? Six, seven prayers. Yeah, it was quite a few. <laughs> yeah. I've been walking around with like felt, felt like a ball like, under my heel for months. Mm. Six, seven, eight months maybe, and it's gone. And what were they telling you to do? What, what um, you to oh, do? get one of these uh, ball, soft balls where you stand on it and you rub your heel. And so yeah. I tried doing that, and man, it's so painful. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. So I'm not doing that. Yeah. So yeah, so thank you. But not only that, didn't oh, you also so, feel something else? So this morning I said to my son, what's here? Like, is that your kidney or something? Because I don't know whether I slipped on it or pulled something, but it's really sore and I don't know what what this could be. But yeah, and yeah, it's gone too. <laughs> Can you like jump up and down for us? I don't want to do you say it was a nine? Of course, mostly. A nine, very painful. And ten was mostly. If you were to meet the people that I work with by the end of much time, I'm in my car with my foot up because I just can't do my own. This means I'm gonna to have to do the dishes now. I have to actually help clean up. <laughs> oh boy. I couldn't be for for the lots, I don't mind. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So encouraging. Last night, um, the Lord was in the house and he healed me through this beautiful lady, these two beautiful ladies. Um, I've been walking with a, which feels like a ball in the heel of my foot for the last, oh, it feels like a very long time, possibly six to eight months. Um, I'm a cook uh, and I'm on my feet from as early as five in the morning till seven, eight at night and um, it's been very painful. Um, as the day get, goes on, I'm carrying things. It's just, I'm thinking it's just because I'm working a lot, but there's, yeah. Um, the Lord says that He is my healer, He is my doctor, and um, I've just been waiting for the right time to really ask for healing. And um, last night, He, um, yeah, He was true and faithful, and um, healed my foot in Jesus' name. <laughs> so. Um, could feel something going on actually the pain actually moved to my toe uh, I don't know what you call that section there and it was amazing it's like wow it's actually getting worse and it's moving it's like great mm. <laughs> but then um, just repeating the prayer and just like commanding it to go in Jesus name um, yeah, after about, I don't know, six, seven, eight times. Yeah, we and kept you persisting, came along. kept persisting. Yeah, getting up and walking. Like, um, yeah, actually. Because it was it's what? Not as, <laughs> pain not level as, was like nine. Yeah, nine. And it was reducing down to six, to five, to four, to three. And then, yeah, just after talking a little bit about things and getting up again, it's like... And then, uh, and actually, then, and then it was, what, what was it? Gone? You thought maybe your leg would like be shorter or something. Oh, the other. that's Because it was right. down to like one or two. And, two, then, two. and then we're like, oh, this persistent pain. And then we have a sore. That's right. Yeah. yeah and then um, the just, yeah, um, got me to sit down and got comfortable and relaxed my legs. And then I just sort of let my legs go. And then, yeah, it was just a little bit Slide out. But, but also I have, I had, had, <laughs> had this pain where I actually said to my son just the other day, um, I think maybe it's my kidneys or something, but it's like it's bruised. And he, gave, he, he got me to sit in the chair and do these stretches, but it was kind of, 
too painful to move and that's gone that that and we that weren't even as yeah we were praying yeah on i got up and it was like just gone that was gone and then you realized and last the, night the sleeping on the lounge not one wow. tweak there God. and we Amazing. didn't know about this pain there we didn't lay hands or pray for that yeah we were just praying for your foot on your legs. Your so legs. that's linked yeah. up. So yeah. with that getting hit, my foot getting healed, that got healed too. Yeah. I love it. So he heals I love the whole it. body. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's done for me? Like I'm just like filled with joy. <laughs> I was excited to get up to get back in the kitchen and to cook the awesome <laughs> breakfast, which Praise I just want to, yeah. Praise just thank the Lord for what yeah. he's done and how he provides and how he just yeah, gives me so much courage. Um, hope. Yeah. How beautiful. How beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Praise it's the really Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's so good because, um, yeah, it hurts a lot and it hurt a lot and it's, I'm set free. <laughs> I feel really um, free. I really do feel so free. It's wonderful. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so beautiful. So yeah, we want to encourage you guys when you're praying for people, don't give up. Yeah. Just persist, yeah. continue praying, continue commanding until it goes. Yeah. Because it will go. Jesus heals all sickness. Yeah. And everyone that came to Jesus got healed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, girls. Thank you, everyone. Praise Praise but, but I do have to say one little thing. Yeah. I was so excited just to be here, knowing that you were all coming down. Um, I've been um, kind of following Torben, um, doing his teachings. Like I'm up to lesson five. And when I was preparing the food yesterday afternoon, it's like I had this, I was shaking inside. It's like, it's like, what is the Holy Spirit showing me? Like, why am I nervous? And it's not like I was nervous, but I was shaking and stuff. I was excited. I think I was ex my the Holy Spirit in me was excited, and now I know why. <laughs> How cool is this? <laughs> so yeah, um, it's a good day. It's a good day. Hey guys, so a couple of us have gone out on the streets and yeah, so Dorothy, um, have you been on the streets before? No, no. No, no she hasn't. But yeah, she's going to share what happened today. Uh, to go into the new age shop. That's right. Yes, that was amazing actually. So the manager of the new age shop came and she open to yeah speaking with us and the assistant had pain in her leg from soccer so, yeah playing soccer and um, I prayed for her and she said that yeah she it did, it did feel better and I was able to share my testimony with her, which was amazing um, but the manager wanted to uh, she said well if we if we wanted to read any of the books there um, that they had available and I said well that's when I had the, uh, I just felt the Lord open an opportunity for me to share my testimony because I've read books about healing and stuff and I said nothing like that nothing helped me I had depression for 40 years and all, all what's in those books didn't help me um, but Jesus you know like here's the way so I was able to share that um, in Jesus name got to pray for another lady who was also highlighted to you and to yes. Kathy. Yes, yes. Both of you guys nerve. noticed that lady walking down the street. And she didn't look like from the outside she would be open, but we approached she was. her. She was. She was the most open. Most open, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm usually behind the camera filming, and I could just see, just like throughout the whole time, Dorothy's getting encouraged every yeah. time. Like, it's just... Really pain, pain. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's just because it's awesome. Dorothy just wow. stepped out Come in on. faith today after listening to a message just last yeah. night and it was just really encouraging to see that, that I got healed. So exactly. You know, and then now Dorothy crazy. praying for a lady yeah. who had back pain, was it? Yeah, and sciatica. So we got to got to pray for her healing. Yeah. And she, the pain went down. She couldn't feel the pain. Yeah, she did. She goes, yeah, it does feel better. Like, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And she yeah. So I'm not getting. Um, to be honest, I'm not getting it back now. So. Um... 
and she, the lady actually was you could see she was kind of like surprised like oh yeah. I, I yeah. think it's actually getting a lot better yeah. and she was just smiling like yeah. she, you could tell something was happening to her Thank you so much. Thank you. So I guess you obviously feel stirred up. I do. Yeah. I said that I'm yeah, yeah going to step out in faith more often. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. just keep it simple, not um, go on and just say all these things. Like, of course, if the Lord opens the opportunity to share testimonies, if they're interested and have time to, they want to listen. That's wonderful. But yeah, just yeah, just lay hands and be healed. And I like how, yeah, I like how um, Dorothy just said, um, yeah, I, I, I feel like now I've got to step out in faith more yeah. often. And um, it's, it's simple, guys. Why did this happen today? Why? Because you went out. Yes. Because <laughs> yes. you went out. Like, it didn't happen yesterday. It didn't happen last week. It didn't happen the weeks before that. But it happened today because you just went out on his word. Yes. And, of course... He will bring the opportunity or lead you to the people, you know, yes. and um, praise the Lord for that. So let's wow. be active, guys. Let's be um, going out on the word of God and yes. trusting him in obedience because yes. the harvest is ready. Um, the harvest is ripe. The workers are few. So we got to pray that the Lord of the harvest sends us wow. out and we will see, you know, this revival that we want, you know, but we need to also work in tandem with the Lord. We need to go out on his word. And of course, he will do the work through us. So yeah, this is just an encouragement to all of you out there. I'm so excited. I'm going out to the homeless shelter tomorrow and be around so many people that need healing. And I'm actually going to step out and pray for them. I'm so excited. I'm going to be up to speed actually. So the, the food is a tool. To get to yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and uh, of course I like how Dorothy also just said not yeah. just feed them because she does feeding yes. of the homeless, which is also beautiful. Um, and now she's also got this now healing well, you know, and like, preaching the gospel to them. So. Awesome. I've always felt like there's something more I need to do, not just feed them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Week after week after week. I've been doing this for nearly three years now. I need to actually step out and, um, yeah, yeah, pray for healing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that's what Jesus says, you know, find a person of peace and yes. heal the sick and preach wow. the gospel. You know, tell them that the kingdom of God is here. <laughs> And then we can see people get born again of water and spirit. Mm. Amen. Wow. Praise the Lord. Thank you, guys. Thank you. God bless you out there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.